Hey, what's up everybody? Back on the Toyota build, painting this thing. Check out the last video. We got this thing all ready to go. Got the entire truck masked off, ready to spray. So now all I really gotta do is wax and grease remover and tack it. And then we gotta spray the sealer on and then we are spraying color and clear. So let's get to tacking and uh, cleaning this thing up, get it ready to spray. Alright guys, we got the sealer on, laid out really good, nice flat, so I'm stoked about that, but we got a slight issue. So on this door, on the driver's side door, there's a couple low spots that originally were there, and I blocked it and blocked it, and I thought I had them out, but I guess I didn't. Um, you can see it, I, I noticed it when the uh, epoxy was wet, and when it had a sheen to it, you could see just a little bit of a low spot, there was like two or three of them. So it's kind of hard to see now because it's flat. This epoxy is nice, is flat. There's no sheen, so you can't really see dents in it. But we're gonna have to fix that. It's gonna bug me. I'm not gonna put any color on it until it's perfect. So my plan is, I talked to the paint shop and he said I can just let this cure for, I don't know, four or five hours and then take finishing glaze and it's a self-leveling putty so it's that same stuff i was using before so i'll just very put a very light coat on it on those little low spots sand them smooth and then i can reapply the epoxy to just the door so i'll probably just mask mask off just the door do my repair do my epoxy and then we can shoot primer or uh sorry we can shoot base and clear tomorrow so that is the plan Kind of a little setback, but not a big deal. We can fix it. All right guys, now the next day. So I went through, scuffed these areas and put my um, finishing glaze on, flattened that out and shot more epoxy on it. And it looks a lot better. There is, no, you're not gonna be able to see it on the camera. Maybe you can. Right there. So you can barely see the outline of the, uh, filler so i really don't want to shoot base over it i think what i'm going to do is let that set up let that epoxy set up and then i'll just barely wet sand that and see if i can get that edge to go away and then i will shoot some base over that and see if that covers and if that looks good because it's hard to tell i mean just looking at it it looks like a low spot because you see the whole edge but I know they're not low. I know for a fact I block sanded those with a very, very stiff block and they felt great, looked great until I shot the epoxy on. And I think it's the epoxy is kind of bleeding through or the fillers like bleeding through the epoxy or something. I don't know. Something's going on anyway. So I'm gonna let that set up and then, like I said, sand it, just very lightly block sand it and shoot some base on it and see how it looks. All right, guys, uh, I got my mirrors. They finally showed up, and they showed up in time to get them painted before I paint the whole truck so I can paint it all at the same time. So I'm going to throw some epoxy on these and then let that sit, and then by that time, when I spray the truck, these will be ready to spray with color. So I'm going to take... I'll probably just take this back mount off and then mask the mirror and then just shoot it like that. So let's get to work with that.
All right, guys, I hit that real quick with 800 grit and it came out perfect. So I am very happy about that. So I'm gonna go tack this thing and then we can shoot some bass on it. So let's get to work. All right, guys, truck is tacked off, cleaned up, ready to go. These mirrors are fresh, so I'm not even gonna touch them. I'm just gonna spray base on top of that epoxy. So let's get some paint mixed up, start laying some base down. All right guys, base is on, looking good. Came out pretty uh, even. So I did three main coats and then the last coat I did was kind of a, they call it a drop coat. It's a real light, kind of a, more or less a mist coat so that the metallics lay really even. So that was the reason for the fourth coat. Um, and I don't know if you guys saw on the camera, I went over this windshield and a bunch of the freaking paint that was already on that masking paper or the uh, masking film came flying off landed all over the roof all over the driver's side so i had to pick all that out and then it happened again in the back here so i don't know if maybe there's a special kind of plastic they make i don't know but i'm going to go around and just run a, a row of paper around all my plastic so that way when i clear i don't have any freaking problems so that's next, I'm gonna get all this, uh, all this paper on and then we can go tack it again and then we can shoot some clear on it. All right guys, got that all masked off. So I feel a little better about that, knowing that freaking paint is not gonna destroy my paint job. So I'm gonna go through, give it one good tack with the tack rag and then mix up some clear and see if we can make this puppy shine. Alright guys, just finished spraying the last coat of clear coat and it turned out freaking amazing.
very, very little orange peel. If I do cut and buff it, it's going to be very easy and won't take a whole lot of sanding. So I'm extremely happy with how this thing turned out. As always, we got some dirt in the hood. I'm sure on the roof too, but a lot of the panels, like the dip doors, fenders, that are vertical, not a whole lot lands on them. So those are pretty good. And we only got one run there, which is a pretty gnarly run. But good thing about that is it's not, it's kind of flattening out. So it's actually gonna be pretty easy to sand out. And then there was a little bit of a run right there. But other than that, this thing flowed out amazing. Those are the only runs I had. Extremely, extremely happy with how this thing turned out. And then I also did the mirrors too, if you saw. Um, these, they turned out good, but uh, could be better. These were definitely, definitely hard to spray. As you can tell, I got some clear on them. It's still dripping off the bottom of there. And you can see that drip there. So yeah, these things were not fun to spray. But at least it flowed out good and it's, I'll just have to only fix a couple rounds, not a bunch of freaking dry spray. So happy about that. Sorry if I look like death. It has been an extremely long day. It is 10 o'clock p.m. right now. I've been up since 6 a.m. trying to get this thing painted and we did it. So we're not done yet. I still need to get unmasking it and I want to get it unmasked as soon as I can. You don't want to let your clear harden too much. You want to unmask it while it's still soft but tack free if that makes sense. Because um, when you're pulling your masking paper and everything off, if anything falls on your paint, you don't want it to stick. So wait till it's m m the majority tack free and then unmask it. So I'm going to get what I can right now. And then it's still pretty fairly tacky. So I'm going to get like all the stuff off the bottom and all that. And then once it tacks up a little better, I will get the rest of the masking off. But I want to get that off before I go to bed. I do not want to pull that off in the morning and have paint peeling off in sheets, so that would be terrible. So I'm going to get to unmasking this thing. Well boys. I found out what ma unmasking too early does. You see the whole front edge of that door. So I had the I had a piece of tape in between the door and the fender. And when I opened the door, completely forgot about it. And the tape, you know, folded around like this on the edge of the door. And freaking peeled the paint off. So Gonna have to fix that. Not a huge deal. I think I'll just just sand it, mask it, and just spray just the edge of the door. Once it dries and cures up, I'll pull the door off. And just, just spray the edge. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. But it's now uh, 11. It's been another hour. And this stuff is pretty tacked up. So I'm gonna pull all this stuff off and uh, get the rest of this masking off. guys there it is all unmasked looking good I absolutely love this color 
It almost looks a little darker than uh, the factory color, which could be because I used a darker primer. But yeah, I am extremely happy with how this thing turned out. I'm excited to get out in the sun and check out this metallic in it. I know the other pieces that, like that cowl that's painted already, I brought that out in the sun and it looks freaking sweet. So it's about midnight now. I think I'm gonna go go to bed and then come out in the morning and we'll check it out again. All right, boys, it's the next day. We got some sun, but it's not quite poking in the shop yet. Let's go see what this thing looks like. Yeah, boy. She's looking good, boys. Sat up overnight. It's already pretty, uh, pretty nice and hard, so. It's like eight hours, I think, they say that you can actually cut and buff it, so. That's at 70 degrees. It cooled off a little bit in here last night. So, it is not quite ready for cut and buff, but. I probably won't get to that right away anyway. So yeah, this is the only issue we had really. Just that run. And then just a little bit in this texture area, which I'll probably sand out a little bit, but I don't want to go too much and cut that texture down. I want that that textured look on the bottom with the uh, that chip guard I put on. But it is looking much, much better than I thought it would. Just because of my my painting skills, um, obviously it turned out pretty good. But I haven't, like I said, I haven't done a whole lot of painting, and I've actually never painted an entire truck. So that being said, I am very happy with it. So there it is, guys. I am freaking stoked. It turned out amazing. Um, we're not done yet, though. We still got we got to cut and buff it cut those couple of runs out and I'm gonna show you how to do that. There's a few different ways that you can do it, um, but I will show you what I'm doing, the technique I'm using. We're gonna cut and buff it, make it freaking shine. So then we gotta throw the whole, the, everything back together, the, the doors back together, get the windows in, all that good stuff. So it's coming along good. I'm excited, I'm glad I got the paint done. Um, I'm gonna, I can't wait to pull it out in the sun and see the metallics in this. You can't really see any metallic without sun on it. Let's see if I can get a shot. You can see a little bit right here. You'll probably not be able to see it on the camera, but next video, once this thing hardens up enough, I wanna get it outside and I'll show you guys the the metallics, and I really hope they laid out good. Um, I'm hoping they did with that drop coat. Um, that last, the last fourth coat I did was just a real light coat, just to even out all the metallics in it. So if you've never sprayed metallics, it's very easy to get the metallics to actually run. The, the base won't run, but the metallics will kind of sag or run, they call it modeling, I think is the term for it. And it's just really splotchy looking with the metallic. But so far, um, it's looking good. I haven't had it in the sun, so I don't know yet. But we will see. So that wraps up this one, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry the footage of spraying sucks so bad. My camera has freaking clear coat all over it. The screen is, I can't even barely see through the screen, you know? it's sucks i uh i do have a ceiling fan up here i had that thing cranked so i had the fan on i had the window wide open and it wasn't i mean it it helped definitely helped but by the time i got halfway around the truck i literally couldn't see what i was spraying so i'm actually very surprised at how well it turned out and the funny thing is i i did, I did the driver's side first so i did the roof then i started from the driver's side and went around to the passenger side on the first two coats and the driver's side looked perfect and the passenger side looked like crap um just how the clear laid out 
So then the third coat, I started on the passenger side and went around. And that, I don't know, more or less evened it out because I could actually see and get a good solid coat on this passenger side of clear coat and it laid out great. So if I ever do something in the future, I probably need to figure out some sort of better ventilation system just to get the, the overspray, the dust out. And that actually also helps with the dust landing back on your truck, which I don't really see any, honestly. Um, even on the roof, that's the first thing I sprayed. And that would be the first thing to catch all the overspray in the air. Um, but I think what helps is that fan is above. So it's pulling all the overspray up and out and not letting it fall back down on the truck. So I think that definitely helped. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Next video, we got to get this thing back together, get the doors together, um, the whole front end, everything. We gotta get the truck back together. So stay tuned for that one. We'll bring it outside in the sun. Hopefully it's a sunny day. It's kind of hit and miss right now in uh, Washington. It'll be raining and then like 20 minutes later, it'll be sunny so and then it'll go start raining again so it's kind of hit and miss around here in the springtime but hopefully it's sunny i can bring it out and show you guys the metallics it looks amazing i already like i said i took that cowl outside in the sun and it looks sick with all the metallic in it so hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe and we'll see you in the next video